Hi friends, welcome to BTH. In the unit uh, 4 of embedded system, we are going to discuss the concept of hardware software trade off now. So, what is this hardware software trade off? Certain system level programming requirements may be possible to develop in either hardware or software. So, there is a trade off between the software and the hardware we need to know. So, if you are going to the trade off, then there are some important contents which we need to consider. The important contents of what we are having are one is processing speed and performance which we need to remember and uh, frequency of change memory size and gate count reliability reduced number of chips but uh, the cost must be less cost and man hour and cost so these are the main components which we need to remember the trade off of hardware and the software so if you are going to the processing speed and performance that must be high compatible to the software programming also the hardware and software must be compatible by using this processing to develop the best processing time and the performance also. and reconfigurability must be there in that uh, hardware and software uh, trade-off if it doesn't have any reconfigurability if you want to change the program then you need to change the entire system if you have a reconfigurability then there will be a chance of changing the either uh, one component in the hardware or else uh, uh, try to change the program then it will be helpful for us and the memory size uh, is high and the gate count is also high must be there in the hardware part and reliability must be there then and reduced uh, the chips must be decreased and the cost is also decreased like that we need to see and the man efforts and cost must be final uh, product cost must be low then only uh, the persons uh, the users uh, are interested to buy this uh, product so these are the trade-off components uh, major uh, components which you need to work out while starting only the next concept is uh, integration of hardware and the firmware so if you're going to the hardware and firmware integration the firmware need to integrate need to embedded to the target the firmware need to embedded into the target hardware boards if this processing is uh, embedded this process is intelligence to the declared product the commonly used firmware embedded techniques are os non os based embedded techniques are there os based embedded techniques the non os based embedded techniques are one is out of the circuit programming and in system programming and in application programming these are the three types of uh, non operating system based embedded system techniques are there so if you are going to the out of the circuit programming if you want to program that system then you need to take out that the integrated circuit the ic from the target board and you need to connect as a to the a device programmer tool and you need to connect to the pc and you need to program it. let's take an example 8051 we all know this uh, 8051 controller so this microcontroller doesn't have uh, the in circuit programming in system programming so we need to take out that ic from the board uh, what we are having what you are working on that and you need to uh, write the programmer program in the pc and you need to connect this uh, device programmer in this device programmer you need to connect the 8051 ic you need to keep this 8051 ic and you just dump the program what you wrote in the pc and then you just get back this ic to the hardware path what we are having here uh, we are getting a problem that if you want to write down a program instantly it won't work you need to take out the dumper or else uh, pro device programmer and you need to take out the ic from the hardware target board and you just kept in the device programmer and write down a program changes in the changes uh, done in the program by using the pc and you need to connect that pc to the programmer and you need to dump the program and you need to check it and then you just get back to the target hardware so this is the out of the circuit programming concept if we are going to the in system programming concept the firmware is developed within the system only means the system the hardware what we are having it will support the in system programming task means let's take an example of arduino board you just connect this arduino board to the hardware path what we are having means uh, out programming part means output path okay you just connected this output path if you want to uh, rechange the program then you just simply switch off that output path and connect a power cable to this arduino board and you just connect to the pc and just you can dump the program what you want and then you simply switch on that arduino board on the output board and then you can take out the output what you want so this is about the in system programming but one only one point is there the 
Arduino board or else the board what you are taking that board the must support the ISP concept in system programming concept that must support if it doesn't support then we can't do anything okay this is about uh, in system uh, programming application next we are going to the in application program so this is the technique uh, used by the firmware uh, running on the target we can uh, modifying the selecting portion of the code memory while running the application uh, we can uh, change the program so this is the technique used in the in application program if you are going to the raspberry pi board you can see this if you are uh, sending some messages by using the gsm mode so you can uh, simply go to the program and you, just, you can simply changes the phone number which number you want to send and then you can simply keep that program so this is the only application we have uh, uh, in this in application programming concept this is the only board uh, we have in our in application programming concept so this is not a technique for the first time uh, embedding uh, user written firmware and next so we have one more uh, embedded product is there depend on the complexity of the functions and the speed of the operation there are two, basically there are two types of approaches are there uh, one is uh, conventional procedure uh, based approach and the second one is embedded operating system based design. so these are the two approaches are there and the conventional based uh, procedure based film we are designed what we are having which one we can call as a super loop model also. and the next concept is nothing but the in circuit emulator so what is this uh, in circuit emulator we need to know so before going to know this in circuit emulator we need to know what is simulator what is a simulator then we can easily understand this what is an emulator okay if we are going to the simulator concept we know you want to use some ic but fortunately or unfortunately i doesn't get that ic from the market itself. so what i need to do so i can't go anywhere and i can't purchase that uh, from anywhere i didn't have that much of time to do that so for that reason i what i will do i simply go to the applications used in the computer and then i will work out with that ic what i want and then i can get the result that is nothing but the simulator concept let's take an example of uh, Key ID. So this is integrated development environment uh, world which we wrote our program in the on 8051. Let's take an example. But fortunately or unfortunately, my 8051, what I am working on the hardware, it was uh, disturbed or else spoiled due to some uh, power fluctuation. So what I need to do, I need to use another IC. But fortunately, I didn't have another IC. So what I will do? So I simply uh, take out the Proteus software. Proteus software. In this software, we are having some 8051 uh, virtual mode. So 8051 virtual mode. So by using this virtual mode, I will work on the 8051. So this Proteus is nothing but the simulator tool. We can say this Proteus is nothing but the simulator tool we can say. If we are going to the emulator concept, what the meaning of emulator means, the emulator itself comes self-contained hardware device. Self-contained hardware device uh, emulates the target CPU. It's nothing but the emulator means the hard the software what you are having it inwardly consists of the hardware the hardware what we are having it will consists of the software which you can change the program it will directly dump into the hardware so this is the in circuit emulator it replaces the microprocessor in the target cpu let's take an example of a raspberry pi you can say this one as a in circuit uh, emulator also and it connects all the signals with a real microprocessor at us the drivers with the same way what we are having okay so this is about a uh, simple uh, discussion of the in circuit uh, emulator as well as the differences between simulator and the emulator okay thank you